Hello, this is the half-hour prototype I built for a game about building obstacle courses for a TV show. One of those reality TV shows where the obstacle course inevitably flings everyone down into a, um, a pool or whatever. So the idea is that uh, each of the blocks can just be placed uh, either by, at this stage, me, or later on by the players using an editor. Um, and then the characters will navigate it based on the uh, uh, statistics uh, of, of the brick. The brick in question handles all the players that are on it. So, um, you know, you get a very different uh, result depending on what the brick thinks of itself. And this brick, you might have noticed, moves slower. And that's because I've set it to be a mud brick, even though it looks visually the same. Uh, but another thing you can do is you can simply duplicate runners. I've made a duplicate runner, but to keep him from overlapping, I'm going to change his progress level so that he has a little bit of a head start. And you can see that it easily handles two runners just as much as one. Now the runners have a different speed and right now there's no such thing as runners colliding. Um, but uh, uh, you know, it, it's very extensible, easy to edit. All I have to do is create a couple hundred different kinds of traps <laughs> which isn't uh, doesn't sound terribly fun. Um, but it'll be interesting because it'll be fun to to experiment with placing them and uh, to build the ending conditions where the runners get too injured to continue or get sick of it and go home or get disqualified because they fell into a pit or whatever. Should be entertaining. Oh, and it's very easy to set them to uh, to do different things. All of these bricks are the same object, but this one has a split where the runners can choose either the left path or the right path, and the other ones are pointed every which way, even though the brick itself is not rotated. 